If you create stickers using Ideogram, and if you have ChatGPT, then I want to share with you this prompt generator, which I have just here. All we have to do is type in what we want just here, and then we're going to get five variation for sticker prompts. Then all we have to do is bring that over to Ideogram, paste it in, and we're going to get some really nice stickers. I've been playing around with the prompt generator, and as you can see, it creates some really nice stickers. Now, all of these just here were created with the prompt generator. Now, if we take a look at these, we can see what they actually turned out like. Now, this one looks really good. This looks good as well. Now, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but you will get some really nice stickers. Now, if we take a look at this ghost one, we can see what this looks like. So as you can see, these ones don't look that great, but this one does. Now, if we take a look at one more, let's go with this one just here. Let's have a look through the variations. This one looks a little bit off. This one looks good. And this one looks really good as well. So let's come over to ChatGPT and let me go through how to use this prompt generator. Now, first of all, I just want to give a shout out to Philip over here on YouTube, because it's thanks to this video that I created the sticker prompt generator, because he has one just here, which is for t-shirts. I played around with it and changed it around a bit. And now we have this sticker prompt generator specifically for Ideogram. Now, what I'm going to do is also put all of these prompts down in the description below. So the first part says we're going to turn you into an ideogram AI sticker prompt generator. These prompts are what we're going to use to create sticker graphics for my print on demand business. I am now going to feed you some information. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. Then the second part is this. Here is the prompt formula. So it starts with image we prompt him, art style of the artwork, and then colors of the artwork. Each prompt must always start with sticker design and end with flat colors isolated on a white background. Don't reference any of the original formula in the resulting prompts. Do not use full stops and only use commas. Give me five prompts as well. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. And then I put, please explain to me what I want you to do. It explains that just here. And then we can literally type in anything that we want. And it's going to create us five variations for prompts for that niche. Now, the best way to use this is do all of your research first. Figure out what you want to sell or what you want to create. And then just plug that in here. So people are searching for books and frogs, then you can type that in here. If they're searching for wine and owls, which people actually are, then you can put that in here. So let's go to round about the last one, which I did. Now, as we can see just here, it didn't quite give me five prompts for this one. So all I did was put five prompts for, and then put the niche after, and then that fixed that issue. But let's go ahead and type something in. Now, to use this over and over again, instead of always putting in all of these prompts, all that we have to do is click on the last one where we put the niche, where we see this little pen, then we can type in again what we want. So, let's go ahead and put in something like tacos and dogs. Now, we're going to click done. We're going to give it a second. We can see we get in the five different prompts. And if we look here, the style is different on every single one. So right here, it's cartoon style. Right here, it's kawaii. Then whimsical, minimalistic, and dreamy. Nope, where is it? Surreal, or surrealistic. And now what we can do is take these prompts, go over to Ideogram, and plug them in. Now, first of all, let's do another one. Let's do a cow wearing a backwards baseball cap. Then click save and now we're going to get we only got one on this one so let's just put at the beginning five prompts for then click save and now we should get the five and there we 
go. So let's go ahead and take a couple of these prompts, go over to Ideogram and plug them in. Now we're going to use the tacos and dogs and let's go with this first one. Sticker design featuring a playful dog dressed as a taco. We're going to copy this, come over to Ideogram. We're going to plug that in there. We want magic prompt on. We're going to do a one by one. We want model 1.0 and let's put this on public and with all of these prompts, we always want to put illustration. So now let's click generate. Let's give this a few seconds to do its thing and let's see what we get. And there we go. So this last one didn't turn out that great. This one does. It doesn't matter about all of this because we can easily remove that anyway when we go to edit the stickers. This one looks great as well and so does this one. So let's go back over to ChatGPT. Let's go on to the cow wearing a backwards baseball cap and let's choose one of these. Now let's go with this third one. Sticker design showcasing a laid back cow wearing a backwards baseball cap kawaii art style. We're going to come back over. We're going to plug that in there. We've got illustration on. We've got all these settings done there. So let's click generate and again let's just give this a few seconds and there we go now these look really great but they actually haven't got the backwards baseball cap but nonetheless these look pretty good now if you liked these but you didn't like the colors we can simply come back onto the prompt and change the colors just here and then click generate now i quite like these so we're going to leave them there but if you play around with this ChatGPT is going to use lots of different styles that you can use. So the ones which we just used, this was kawaii style. This was cartoon style. But if we click on one like this, this was a cozy art style. Now let's go back. Let's choose a different one. This one was, if we take a look just here, pop art style. So as you can see, you can get some really great simple prompts for creating stickers. Now, if you wanted to, you could just use this prompt structure. So you could start every prompt with sticker design. Then you could explain what you want. You could have an art style just here with the different types of colors and then end that in flat colors isolated on a white background. It's totally up to you, but come through, try it out. What I'm going to do is leave these prompts down in the description below so you can come through and try it out. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.